Hello and welcome to Second Nature. Today we're going to be bringing you our very first series where we're going to be reviewing the UK's national parks. And what better place to start than in the heart of the South Downs at Devil's Dyke. Here at Devil's Dyke, not only do you get almost 180 degree view of the South Downs, it's also home to one of the UK's rarest habitats, the chalk grassland. You see, the strange thing about chalk grassland is it's not an entirely natural landscape. If it was left to its own devices, big patches of it would get taken over by fast growing plants like brambles. This is where managed grazing comes in. In conservation terms, this basically means releasing grazing animals like cattle and ponies, which will eat these fast growing plants and stop them from taking over, which allows the flowering plants to flourish. The Devil's Dyke is a great place to start, but when it comes to iconic views, the Seven Sisters is hard to be beaten. So here we are, Cuckmere Haven. We've been walking down the estuary towards the sea. We've got the Seven Sisters Cliffs over behind us here. And we've seen a lot of bird life. There's been egrets, there's been Canadian geese. We've seen a couple of new birds, particularly the bar-headed goose, which is very exciting because it's a very rare species to see around in these parts. The open wetland and contrasting grassy hills connect river and sea, providing the perfect environment for waders and waterfowl, like little egrets and goosander. Whilst the southerly location is an ideal stop off for migrating birds, such as the bar headed goose, which reaches astonishing heights as it soars across the Himalayas and stops off in Sussex. It makes for a stunning location as this whole little world is surrounded by the great cliffs of the Seven Sisters. Yeah, in case it blows over, yeah. Is it you recording it? <laughs> I'm recording now. Yeah. Directly behind me are the Seven Sisters Cliffs. Sitting directly beneath them, you can get a real sense of how gigantic they are. Heavy rainfall and erosion from the sea can cause rockfalls like this. <laughs> That's really <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> you're laughing, you're laughing. Limestone. I wouldn't laugh at you. Oh, it just sounds a bit f***ing just just say, so, <laughs> so, we got a little bit stuck. Aiden was uh, 
Ed was taking his sweet time with his filming and <laughs> we are now in a situation where we're stuck in this little cove. The boys, <laughs> the boys are walking around here. Oh shit, nearly got got. Yeah, we might be a bit f***ed here. Looking <laughs> for a funny segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty appealing. That, that tide has come up so quickly. What the fuck? It's in my yeah, bag. Yeah, Aiden picked it up. Oh. Right, uh, well, let's dip. I don't want that getting any higher. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, man, you got to keep an eye on the tide. Aiden was loving that camera part, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, good. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, at least everybody gets to see Doz's ass. <laughs> South Downs Park, you gone That is wrong? intense, yeah. <laughs> Almost <laughs> died at the Seven Sisters Cliffs. So what do we reckon, guys? Bit of a, bit of a learning curve there. Yeah, <laughs> Keep your eyes on the sea. Your, <laughs> your, your camera was about two feet from getting submerged. Yeah, I don't mind. Just... It would have, it would have taken one good wave. Jeez, <laughs> listen, listen for Aiden. Don't take two don't hours. Take... <laughs> With your three lines. <laughs> three lines of taking footage. <laughs> but yeah, you know. So anyway, what I was trying to say is, seven sisters. It's one of the main tourist attractions of the South Downs for a reason. And if you be if you beware of the dangers and are responsible, you can have an amazing walk. There are hundreds of stunning walks across the South Downs, and we headed west to find exactly that. Now we've reached Kingly Vale, home to some of the oldest trees in the UK, particularly the yew trees known to be almost 2,000 years old. This is the first na nature reserve founded in Britain, and in it you can find a rich cultural Viking heritage of which we're going to see. <laughs> You have just followed me into the ancient Yuchi woodlands, 
which we've previously just mentioned. Poisonous berries grow on these trees and it's said they're planted next to graveyards to deter animals from disturbing resting souls, which may be why we find them so close to Viking burial grounds. As you can see, we've arrived at the Devil's Humps, also known as the King's Graves. Uh, there are four of them that run along this plateau and uh, they date back to kind of the late Bronze Ages and the kind of Viking leaders that came over and they, they fought with the Saxon armies of Chichester and they would have lost probably and they would have been buried here. Um, and it's funny to think though about a few thousand years ago there would have been large gatherings around these kind of burial grounds and the people would have danced, they would have celebrated and it, it probably would have been a bit of a party. <laughs> After a long day hiking, you can always find a lovely local village and more importantly, a local pub with a nice cold beer. Fancy a wonderful wetland walk? Or maybe a weekend away to reignite your love life? Well, Arundel is the place for you. Look at that castle. Yeah. Part of the charm of the South Downs is the fact that there's many villages for you to explore, much like Cocking. You'll never run out of antique shops and tea rooms to try out. We wasn't in the mood for cocking. Instead, we rested up in Alfriston. So what rating were you given the South Downs? The South Downs. Oh. I would probably give the South Downs, I mean, granted we've never rated anything before, <laughs> probably about a seven, because it was very nice, but I don't know, I'm looking for a bit of more wilderness, but it's some very good frisbee spots, mm. down by the, oh, the, the estuary we went to, yeah, it was lots of lovely, lots of, I think that was probably one of my favourite bits, was going to the estuary and seeing all the birds, but yeah, probably a seven, maybe a 7.3, but you know, it's all the same. Yeah. 7.3. Um, so you said you like wilderness stuff, so that's a 7 out of 10, 7.3. Yeah. I'm more partial to open landscapes. The South. I like, I like, I like big views. Yeah, yeah. You it's know? got that on offer. And you have a lot of that in the South Downs. Yeah. Um, also like some of the uh, cultural heritage. Oh, yeah. King of Hill. Yeah. That's really nice. Uh, so I'd say... Nine out of ten. No oh, way! No. <laughs> You've got nowhere to go oh, up from there, man. Yeah, but you think this is the best national park in the UK? I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Maybe it is. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, you still got a whole. It's fantastic. Yeah. Hello. Um, yeah, no, it's not. The South Downs yeah. National Park. And well, where to start? Really <laughs> it's, it's been a lovely adventure. I love the bird watching. I love the openness of the landscape, the hilliness. Um, in contrast to, to the surrounding flatness. Um, and, you know, most of all, I loved the near-death experience. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, thr it was thrilling. Um, I'll, I'm going to know, South Downs on a whole, fantastic place, nice wildlife, nice people, nice fish and chips. Um, I'm going to give it a seven point. Eight, five. 7.85. 7.85. I was toying between 7.8 and 7.9 and then I just thought I'd just sit, sit on the fence with that. Right, I think it's actually pretty underrated because there's no, there's none of those big scenes like massive lakes or really high peaks. But for families and that sort, that sort of people, it's not yeah. too isolated. Cool, man. Uh, the, the walks are really nice but not too hard. Um, so there's there's stuff for everyone. So I'd say underrated year. Maybe people don't think about it. It's, it's the newest national park. Yeah, I don't think about it because I live here. <laughs> yeah, and it's so accessible, isn't it? Mm. I'd, it's not, I'd say an eight. That's nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So ah, yeah, top of the score. So would you want to give? Do you want to give the final? Yeah, I reckon I'll, give, yeah, the I reckon verdict, I'll give the final verdict. Guys, give the final score. Yeah, as it's it's not quite all that wilderness. Yeah. Um, but there is stuff for everyone. 
Uh, so we're giving an eight overall. Mm. That's a nice. Cheers yeah. for watching. Uh, Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, subscribe for more. Hope to see you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, beautiful.